accused of a crime or not are innocent until proven guilty. In the vast terrain of Washington State, the Department of Fish and Wildlife Police are on the front lines. I'm not a citizen of the United States. Or are you a citizen of heaven? From the city to the coast. Prop cuts can sever a major artery and somebody can bleed to death super quick. To the desert. There's just a certain way you want to go about handling a wild bird like that because you don't want to injure this owl any more than it already is. This elite force protects both wildlife. There's a deer stuck in a retention pond. How the heck did he get in there? And people. No matter the danger. Here you have an individual that clearly has a history of committing violent acts. Put your hands straight out to the side. Do what I tell you to do, okay? The Fish and Wildlife Police tirelessly enforce the law. In southeastern Washington, just 213 miles east of Portland, Oregon, is Kennewick. It is situated along the Columbia River and the famous Lewis and Clark Trail. And Officer Chad McGarry is keeping an eye out for suspicious activity on land managed by the Department of Fish and Wildlife Police. I grew up hunting and fishing and something that I always enjoy. My wife says I never go to work. I'm just always going to play. It's a great job. I love it. Uh, you got to be cautious when you're approaching people because you never know what they're going to be doing. Everyone could have a knife. Everyone possibly could have a firearm. So you got to be on your toes at all times. Our ultimate goal is to go home at the end of the night after we're done working. And if, you, uh, if you're not paying attention, that might not happen. We're here at the Finley Boat Launch Area, Twin Parks. A lot of people come here and they fish. They launch their boats. Um, look, if any vehicles stand out to me, um, looking for boat trailers or boats that are coming in, possibly could have illegal salmon on them or some kind of illegal fish. Also looking for other violations as far as the state laws go. It looks like we got a van back here. I believe he's parked on a no parking zone. There's a sign right here that says no parking. Do you guys have your ID with you? I'm not a citizen of the United States. Where are you a citizen of? Heaven. Of heaven? Yeah. I need to see some kind of ID. That's my ID. How about the registration for the car? I don't register my car with any secular authority. Is this your spouse? Or friend? Or my friend. Your friend, okay. What's your name on here? Trent? Minister Trent Goodbody. Okay. Do you have a middle? Uh, just that's Minister Trent Goodbody. I don't see a date of birth on here. Is there a date of birth? No. The date that would matter would be my date of baptism. You reside at Kingdom of Heaven? Is that yeah. Right? Yeah. That's, okay. that's the jurisdiction I reside in. And that's where I claim my citizenship as well. So if I was to issue you a ticket for parking here illegally, where would I be sending that to? The Kingdom of Heaven. I need to have your date of birth. You are in violation. Give me one minute. I'll be right back with you, okay? All right. You're not free to leave, though. Okay. okay? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to call some people. Hey Nancy, it's Wildlife 182. Can you run a name? Yeah, I have a possible alias of Trent Goodbody. Address is uh, his Kingdom of Heaven. As for his date of birth, and he just wants to give me his baptism date. He doesn't have any plates. Okay, if you find anything, if you let me know. All right, thanks. Bye. She can't find anything on him. I have no idea who he is. I don't know his background. He's a fairly large gentleman, so he looks like he can handle himself. But if he continues to go down this road, not provide his name, not provide his date of birth, then we're going to arrest him for obstruction, which means failure to cooperate with the law enforcement officer. So it's a misdemeanor. It's a $500 ticket. I'm going to call for backup for safety. Sergeant Bolton is relatively close. It's good to have a supervisor on scene, especially with these um, difficult situations. Hey. Hey, I might need you to come over this way. Uh, I got a guy that's parked illegally. He also says that he's a minister. His address is the Kingdom of Heaven. Will not give me his date of birth, won't give me his middle name. I don't know what he's going to do. Okay, where are you guys at? Two Rivers, boat launch. Okay, we'll head over there. Okay, thanks. Bye. Let me tell you right now.
right now. What's going to happen is if you fail to identify yourself, you will be going to jail. I've given okay? you my identification. You don't have any date of birth on here. You won't tell me your middle name. You're not under arrest at this time. If you continue to not give me your name and your date of birth, then you will be under arrest. Okay? Where does it say I have to identify myself? In the state law. I don't follow state law. This is my authority right here. Okay. My sergeant's going to come here. You can talk to him at I'm that going point. I'm to talk to okay. a supervisor. I don't want to have to take this guy in. He just tells me his name, date of birth, be on my way. In most circumstances like this, I just turn around, give a warning, say, hey, you just can't park right here. This is what he hands me, since he does not believe in any state laws, only God's laws. Okay, let's go talk to him. How we doing? Okay. I'm Sergeant Colton. So what's going on today? Well, I believe that God made this earth, and he didn't make any no parking signs. Everything I do, I do for God. So I will go with you wherever you want to take me, or, but, you know, it would be a real a real damage to these dogs. I've had them for 10 years, and they can't live without me. All we're asking at this point, and all he's asking is to identify yourself. I can't give you a state identification because my authority is God, not the state. So you're still refusing to identify yourself? No, I'm not refusing. I have identified myself. I gave him my ID. So we, we need a name and date of birth for him. I don't have that. Okay. You leave, us, you leave us with no choice. I have not caused any harm to anyone or done any property damage. What have I done wrong? We're not saying you caused any property damage. So you're saying you're, you've committed a violation. I my papers. Like in Nazi Germany, I will get hauled off to jail. You guys are a corporation. You're trying to make money off of it. Actually, no. What would God do? You know, I forgive you guys for anything you're about to do. I live for the Lord. All right. And that's, I, that's good. That's a good thing to do. Yeah. You want to step on out of the car? Face the vehicle. Hands behind your back. So you're under arrest at this time, okay, Trent? They're arresting me. Okay, do you have anything that's going to stab me? No, me? I don't carry weapons. Okay. All right, come back this here to the car. This car is, is private property. Okay. Come back here to this car. You good? Yeah. Turn around. Place my tailgate. Why are you guys doing this to me? I don't know what you expect me to provide. There's no law saying I have to get a state ID. Is there? If I gave you a birth date unaddressed, would you let me be on my way? Okay, a little bit too late for that. Of course. I would never do this to you. Man to man, I would never do this to you. Can you tell me what might happen to my dogs? Your dogs are probably going to stay with the female. You know when I might be able to get released? That's up to the judge. I gave you several chances to tell me. I cannot identify myself to an authority other than God. Who can come and remove this vehicle? I don't know anybody out here. How long have you known her? Since yesterday. Yesterday you met her? Yeah. How are we going to remove this vehicle? She could probably find someone. She knows more people around here than I do. We'll, we'll talk, we'll talk to her and try it. Watch your elbow there. Thank you. Do you have a driver's license? I don't have it with me. So you can't drive? No, right. Okay. So he wants the dogs to go with you, if you're okay with that. That's fine. And the vehicle to go with you, but it needs to be removed before I leave. Like within the next 10 or 15 minutes. Sounds yeah. like she's from here, around. She's yeah, trying to find I someone. Understand. If it doesn't happen, then we're going to tow your car. I hope that doesn't happen. You know, the wrath of God is something I wouldn't want to have much to do I, with. No, I'm so, the same way. I believe in God. So you carry around paperwork from the kingdom of hell. It's evil. It is evil. This earth is evil? No, the state, the state is, is without evil. God. The governor is the leader of the state. So not the, governor, God. the governor would Satan. probably be like Satan? I'm doing the Lord's work. And he's called me on a mission. Okay, just hang tight for me, Trent. <laughs> so the driver for the to remove the vehicles here. Hello. How are you? Okay. Monster McGarry, Colorado Fish and Wildlife. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you know what's going on. They're parked here illegally. Um, okay. The driver is going to be going to jail. Can you remove the vehicle? I can. It doesn't have a license plate on it, so they can't be driving it down the road. What we okay. want to do is get it out of the violation area, come and park it in the parking lot where it's supposed to be. Do you have your ID with you? I, I need to know who I'm releasing it to. It's a little dusty. Yeah. I appreciate you coming down and getting it otherwise, so we're going to have to tow it. I really didn't want to do that. Let's come and talk to uh, Michelle, and then we can figure everything out. So he's going to Benton County Jail in Kennewick, okay? So you have his keys, you have his dogs, 
All right. Thanks for coming down. Not a problem. Thank you. We're going to take off then. Okay. Thanks for your help. Yeah. parking spot you guys came along and thought it was yours but well you know what there was another jurisdiction here before you guys came along god made this planet perhaps you think you own this place how can you persecute me like this who, who are the ones that crucified christ those were the government you're the one that's going to be held liable and accountable okay and not just by a court because god does not operate in courts I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. Okay, well, that's okay. fine. I am you just can, doing my due diligence to warn you. And you know can explain you. it to the judge. Tell it to the judge. I don't have to be responsible. I'm not going to talk to your judge. I don't have to follow your policy. I don't work for you. If the Pope was parked in the wrong place, would you arrest him? Probably would give me his date of birth. And his no, he wouldn't. Place. He wouldn't give you anything. I don't have to answer your question. You are not my authority. God is. I answer to God. I'm bringing back God's kingdom here on earth. Pilot 182, Bent County Master Control on Earth. So are you take me, taking me directly to a judge, or do I have to go sit in the dungeon first for a while? You're going to Benton County Jail. So you're not taking me to a judge, you're taking me to a dungeon. So I'm going to begin a religious fast right now. And this is a big time federal lawsuit. Somebody has taken on some serious liability. Cha ching Okay, Trent. Would you stick up for me? If he wants to believe all that he said, that's perfectly fine with me, but he still needs to obey the laws of the land. There is God's law and then there's state law. He just needs to comply with state law as well. He didn't think that I had any authority to arrest him. He doesn't believe that another man should arrest another man. Also, doesn't think that that I should be able to judge him, which I'm not a judge. If he chooses to go to court over it, which he will have to, then he'll uh, have to explain it to the judge. Well, Officer Chad.